From the years 249 to 260 AD, large changes in the treatment of Christians took place in the Roman Empire. During this period, blanket persecutions took place across the entire territory of the Roman Empire in comparison to the sporadic and unexpected persecutions of Christians covered in part 2 of this series. In part 3 of this series, we'll be looking at the decade of persecution from Decius to Valerian. Without further ado, you're watching All Things History. During the reign of the Emperor Decius, the Roman authorities issued an order that all inhabitants of the Roman Empire were to offer cultic verinations to the Roman gods. This happened during the December of 249 AD, and each person in the Empire was required to bring a food and drink offering and consume sacrificial meat. If the sacrifice had not been offered voluntarily and by a certain date, the Roman authorities would force the Christians to perform it. Punishments for failure to do this was imprisonment, scourging, beating, the iron claw, and red-hot irons. The Roman government was allowed to confiscate the property of those who failed to act in accordance with the order, having them exiled and then eventually killed. This order by the emperor applied to all and not just the Christians. The point was to demand religious loyalty of the empire's entire population. Once again, this was to ensure political stability by maintaining religious order. However, it's worth noting that the Christians were in the sights of the Romans for their historical refusal to comply with Roman rules and religion. Many of the Christians complied with the order since they believed that they could venerate God under any name. There were also social pressures associated with the order, as anyone who did not participate immediately was stigmatized and had to expect retaliation. A lot of people were able to bribe Roman officials to escape punishment. One could remain untouched without formally declaring one's loyalty to the Roman gods. Only a small number of Christians evaded the sacrifices or refused to take part in them. During this time, mobs were mocking Christians and a Roman soldier by the name of Bessus was arrested and beheaded for standing up against the mob. More Christians like the Libyan Macarius and Mercuria Dionysia were put to death by the sword and tortured for failing to comply with the Roman order. Egyptians like Heron, Ata and Isidorus were burned at the stake for the same reason. In Egypt, an administrator by the name of Isicreon refused to sacrifice and as a result, his bowels were impaled. In Alexandria, Christians hid in a hideout who would then bury executed Christians with them. Some Christians were lucky enough to flee However, a lot of Christians who fled Egypt were eventually met with hunger, thirst, hypothermia, or other illnesses. Overall, the number of executions in Egypt was not very large, with roughly 20 executions taking place in the region. In the famous city of Carthage, sacrifices had to be offered for Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva, and those who refused were imprisoned. This order even applied to children, as there is evidence of a little girl who had to dip bread in wine in front of an image of the three gods. Large numbers of Christians sacrificed willingly, including high-ranking priests and deacons. This same trend took place in most areas of the empire under the reign of Decius. From 253 to 260 AD, the Emperor Valerian now ruled the Roman Empire. In the early years of Valerian's reign, persecution was not that profound. However, this changed drastically in August 257 AD when the Emperor Valerian issued an order that forced inhabitants of the Empire to practice the Roman religion. Christians were the primary target of this order and the punishments included exile, forced labour in the mines and imprisonment. In the following year, a much tougher order was issued where bishops, priests and deacons were to be immediately executed. The property of high-ranking Christians were to be confiscated, and if they adhered to Christianity, they were to be executed too. The attack on significant figures in the church was intended to ensure the church's destruction and operation as an organization in the Roman Empire. 
Christian priests and bishops were forbidden to participate in divine worship or to even visit cemeteries. In Carthage, death penalties were handed for similar acts. The second empire-wide persecution ended in the year 260 when the Emperor Valerian was captured by the Sasanian ruler, Shapur. Here, Valerian died or was killed in captivity. But that brings us to the end of the video of Christian persecution during the reigns of Decius to Valerian. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content.